Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and, um, and another controversy for Windows 10 that started with the uh, introduction of Windows 10 way back in 2015, the famous telemetry that Windows 10 gathers and sends to Microsoft. Of course, if you want to know about it, you go into your settings and your settings, you go into privacy and on the left side you've got diagnostics and feedback. So this has been a um, source of a lot of controversy. Now what is it all about once again? This is Microsoft taking data from Windows 10 on your computers, sending it back to be able to uh, simply um, know if your computer has Windows 10 problems or has some crashes or issues or it helps make Windows 10 better. This telemetry gives them information about things they need to fix that might be crashing or having problems. It comes in two forms, the optional and required. Required, it's the minimum. So if you are one of those that are scared that Microsoft is snooping on you, you can click and put required diagnostics data. Required diagnostics data is just the bare minimum of information sent to Microsoft about Windows 10 operations. And uh, basically, if there's crashes and things like that, they'll have information on it, but it is really the basic information being sent out. Optional diagnostics is more. Optional diagnostics, they send a lot more. Although chances are low, there is a slight chance that some sensitive information could be in the optional data. An example, if your computer crashes, you're doing something sensitive, and that uh, information is in the RAM memory, well, optional diagnostics, if your computer crashes, it will take a snapshot of what's in RAM and send it. So if there's sensitive, sensitive data in the RAM of your computer at the time it happens, they could technically see what's in there. Now, this is done in a way that Microsoft calls uh, it's anonymized, which means they can't link it to a specific user. This is assigned a number, and by the number, they know that it's a user somewhere, but they don't know who, and they can't find out who, and they don't know who you are. A lot of people think that, well, yeah, another way of snooping. Microsoft doesn't have time for snooping. It, it doesn't care about what's there. It really wants to have just the data to see what your computer is all about when it crashes or has problems. But for some reason, some people think that it's for some other purpose when Microsoft has so many other things to do. And with 1.3 billion computers out there, they won't even be able to get all of that data and, and, and parse through it for information. They really, really don't care. It's anonymized, so... Technically, um, the way they do it is in a, a fashion where, you know, the only thing that's assigned is a number. They don't even link it to an account. So whatever they had when the diagnostics data went through, they don't know who you are and don't, they don't know, you know, where it comes from. They just know that some PC on the Internet somewhere sent this and they can uh, check it out. So that also is linked to a PC, which means that anonymized uh, information is linked to your computer, but once again, without knowing who you are and where you are. It's just some number on the internet. Where Microsoft possibly could have done something here is, once again, like Cortana. Cortana, we couldn't un uninstall it. I think to ease the mind of a lot of people, maybe giving the chance of turning this off would have been uh, a good idea. Uh, so the people that worry about privacy, worry about you know whatever Microsoft could be doing or whatever they think they're doing, uh, by turning it off, it could be you know one option. And Microsoft never really did. They reworded these two paragraphs to try to have people understand a little more what it is all about. And of course, there's more information that you can go uh, here there's a get more info about these settings it brings you to a web page on the internet where they talk more in detail of what all of this is about and how it works so that's another controversy that windows 10 was hit with 
So if you're scared of too much data being sent, you can actually just put the little dot at require diagnostics. And for those that think that this is snooping and it's crazy and Windows shouldn't be used, every device you own does that. Android does it, Mac OS does it, a lot of Linux distros do it, and people think they don't, but they actually do. There's a lot of diagnostics data from Linux distros going back to servers. So everybody does it. Microsoft isn't doing worse. It isn't doing, um, you know, there's no um, real uh, problem with that. And uh, it's just that, yeah, maybe they could have put a switch to put it at off. That might have helped in some people, you know, that are overly sensitive on privacy. And um, at least they could turn it off. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.